<laughs> what's up, dude? Hey, what's up, man? I'm glad you made it. Yeah, I'm just doing some tactical training with my Glock 19 chambered in 9mm, and I've got the plus P plus P plus ammunition for it. It's a little bit hard on the wrist if you got little girly wrists like you, but I handled it pretty good. What'd you bring to shoot? Oh, I just brought this little guy. Is that a wheel gun? It's a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. <laughs> okay, Boomer. Never even heard of that caliber. Yeah, you can take a few shots if you can even hit it with that thing. All right, cool, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> Sorry, man. I guess I should have warned you about that. Where can I get one of those? What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and for today's video, we're gonna spend some quality time with my favorite handgun, the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. So there's lots of different makes and models when it comes to 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, but for today's video, I'm gonna show you my top three. So I'm gonna start out with my number three and work my way up to my number one favorite. So number three on the list is this model here. This is the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum with an eight and three eighths inch barrel. My second favorite is the Smith & Wesson Performance Center 500 Magnum with a 10 and a half inch barrel. And my number one favorite is the complete opposite of my number two favorite. This is the Smith & Wesson Performance Center 500 Magnum with a three inch barrel. There's two reasons this is my favorite model. Number one, this is the exact model and the exact handgun that I used to break the world record for 500 Magnum with Jerry Mitchellick. I did five shots of 500 Magnum on target in 1.08 seconds. It was an awesome experience and some of the most fun I've ever had. And reason number two, this is the most ridiculous version of 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum available on the market. 500 Magnum is the largest production handgun round out there, and this little thing has a three inch barrel and no compensator. So as you can imagine, the recoil coil is pretty stout. So I showed you my top three 500 Magnums, but now it's time for me to show you why I truly love 500 Magnum. I brought us a few things to shoot today. We're gonna to start out with the ShootSteel.com Steel Target. The ammo we're gonna be using today is some Underwood ammo. These are 350 grain jacketed hollow points. And just in case you don't know how big a 500 Magnum is, here it is compared to a nine millimeter. For comparison's sake, I'm gonna shoot everything first with nine millimeters. So I have a Glock 19, I've loaded up with five rounds. Let's take a few shots at our steel. Okay, well, that nine didn't do a whole lot to that steel. Now let's try five shots of 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Oh. 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 Almost knocked over the steel target. <laughs> All right, so now I've got a cinder block set up. First, let's take a shot at it with a nine millimeter. Put a nice little hole in there, but didn't do a whole lot to that cinder block. All right. Put a fresh cinder block up here. Let's hit this one with an eight and three eighths inch barrel. One shot destroyed that cinder block. Hey, shake weight. Okay, I'm gonna shoot the one on the left with a nine millimeter, and then we're gonna shoot the one on the right with a 500 Magnum. Oh, oh, very uneventful. This is probably gonna get us wet. Oh. <laughs> Pretty big difference. I've never shot bricks before, so I thought we'd try these today. Get out of here. Oh. Okay, again, nine mil on the left, 500 Magnum on the right. 500 Magnum. <laughs> Starting to get a little dark. Judging from where the sun is, I can say it's about I gotta grab the wrong gun. Sorry. Woo! <laughs> now that's more like it. 
Oh, we're gonna make a mess now. Now I have a five gallon water jug. Nine millimeters first. It was really cute. All right, let's use the three inch barrel 500 Magnum. Whoa! <laughs> I ripped that right in half. Wow. <laughs> it threw that like what? 15, 20 feet in the air? That was awesome. Now let's shoot a few eggplants. Because nobody likes eggplants. Oh, do we even, yeah, we hit it. Just didn't do much. <laughs> Nobody likes an eggplant. So now I have a piece of steel. It's an eighth of an inch thick. Let's set it up and see what our results are. Okay, I'm gonna scoot back a little bit just to be safe. Shouldn't be a problem anyways. I've got the steel set up at a slight angle. Any ricochets should just go right into the dirt. First up is nine mil. I forgot to turn on that camera. <laughs> we put a dent in the steel, but we did not make it through. Now for 500 Magnum. Well, so as you can see, the 500 Magnum blew a pretty big hole through that steel. Uh, I can almost fit my thumb through it. And then the round continued on and destroyed that cinder block. Now just for fun, let's finish up today's video with some one-handed shooting with each one of my favorite 500 Magnums on our steel target. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> I feel bad for that steel target. Okay, now the eight and three eighths inch barrel. Woo. Now for the real monster, the three inch barrel. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Those fireballs are ridiculous. <laughs> Ah, uh, five more rounds just for fun. <laughs> that never gets old. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. I had a ton of fun today out here on the range getting to shoot my favorite 500 Smith & Wesson Magnums. It's pretty obvious why 500 Magnum is my favorite caliber. Now I wanna know what your favorite caliber is. Leave your answers in the comment section down below. I really appreciate you tuning in and watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, do me a big favor and hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you hit the bell for notifications. YouTube doesn't always notify you when I upload new videos. The bell isn't a guarantee tea but at least you tried if you want to support kentucky ballistics the easiest way to do that is by picking up some gear if you want to check that out there's a link in the description down below also make sure you're following kentucky ballistics on instagram facebook patreon and twitter links to all those can also be found in the description down below or on my website kentuckyballistics.com as always my name is scott thank you so much for watching kentucky ballistics and i'll see you next time <laughs>